Footballers get injured all the time, but when they get their injuries off the pitch, it's so embarrassing. Like when David Batty's daughter used an unusual ramp for her tricks. C, the former Leeds United player, was recovering at home from an injury in his ligament, which he suffered during a football match. It's always faster to recover when you are at the comfort of your home with your loved ones, right? Well, not this time. And I'm not sure what is more challenging for Batty, to accept longer injury time or to explain what happened in the closed doors of his house to his physio and teammates. Batty suffered a setback when his two-year-old daughter ran over his ankle with her tricycle. This incident kept him on the sidelines for a few weeks more. David will have more time to bond with his daughter while chilling at home in pain. And speaking of bonding, Carlos Tevez might have done way too much to achieve that, which cost his team a lot. In 2018, the former Manchester City ace banged goals for his boyhood Boca Junior club and won titles. So, as if that was not enough, he decided to try his luck in the maximum prison in Cordoba. Tevez went to visit his half-brother, serving his term for armed robbery. While they were having a good time within the concrete walls of the prison, he thought it cool to play some 20 minutes of five-a-side football with the inmates. Unfortunately, things didn't go well after picking up an injury in his soleus muscle. This injury will see Tevez missing the next four games for his side. Even though Tevez missed four games, he still got some street cred for being an OG. But Nesta's indulgence did more harm. Alessandro Nesta is hands down one of the best defenders of his generation. He is famed for helping his side Milan win many games. No doubt, he is very competitive. Unfortunately, being competitive got the better of him when he played his favorite game on PlayStation all night. See, back then, PlayStation was the rave and everyone could not get enough of it. Nesta fell among the categories of addicts, so he deprived himself of sleep to play more of the game. Little did he know that he would destroy his chance for playing for his club for four weeks. Yeah, Nesta ruptured the tendon of his left thumb from handling the gamepad, and he would also need surgery for that thumb. Game over, right? Nesta would not have touched the idea of an all-nighter if he had a screamer like Alex Stepney on his team to control his excesses. Even if Alex Stepney is not a jaw-dropping shot stopper, at least he could scream out of his jaw for a just cause. In 1975, the mighty Manchester United had just been promoted from the second division into the main league. One of their season's matches with Birmingham United was getting rather intense. Stepney was not impressed with how his teammates were playing. To control his defenders, Stepney barked orders at them. Unfortunately, he dislocated his jaw while busy screaming out of his lungs at his teammates who were not performing to his expectations. He had to be taken out for medical attention. Stepney will strike out shouting out of his bucket list next time he wants to effect change. While passion got the better of Stepney's jaw, a celebratory mood was going to put Paul Diogo's marriage asunder. The Swiss international Paul Diogo did not realize that his fate of getting injured isn't on the pitch. Paul had just assisted his teammate Jean Balsajour in scoring a goal for his side, and he impulsively ran off the pitch to celebrate the goal. This is normal, right? Unfortunately, his celebration soon became sour after his successful attempt at scaling the metal fence, barricading the players from the fans, was brought to question by the excruciating pain he felt after the adrenaline rush wore off. Furthermore, his wedding band had hooked the fence and ripped off his finger in the process. The referee, who saw Paul's celebratory act as time-wasting tactics, did not hesitate to book him. Double tragedy, right? Diogo's finger could not be sewn back, and the doctor advised the rest to be chopped off. Paul couldn't have seen losing his finger, but Banega saw what was coming and did the most impulsive thing he would regret. Eva Banega got bitten, but was not twice shy. In 2013, the Valencia playmaker was nursing an injury to his knee and was already ruled out of the club's next match against Barcelona. He went to the gas station to fill his car. While servicing his car, the 23-year-old Argentina international forgot to apply the handbrake on his vehicle. Out of the blue, the car rolled back once he stepped out of the vehicle. Maybe he thought it was the pitch where he could perform tricks with his foot. 
So he tried to save the day by trying to stop the car. Well, his foot paid the price, as the car tire trapped his foot. But Nega was ruled out for six months due to the injury sustained from the act of bravery. He probably will never stop at a gas station to fill up his car again. But Banega's accident might not be as embarrassing as the penalty misser and speedster who disappointed the few fans he had left with a power tool treatment. In England, January is the season of injuries and blisters for footballers. If you have been playing for most of the first half of the season, be sure you will likely get a fair share of that. Darius Vassell got his fair share of the blister on his toenail and had trouble with it. According to him, the crisis did not seem much for medical attention. Even though it hurt so bad, he could not touch the affected area. While Darius's big toe was crying for help, he was also thinking of alternatives that did not involve the Aston Villa medical staff. Darius decided he would relieve himself of the excruciating pain by using an electric trick drill on his toe to end his misery. Little did he know that his little DIY move would not only cost him his toenail but also get him infected. Oh man, why would he do that? This little act of drilling cost him a couple of crucial matches. I am guessing Darius might have had the littlest idea of what he was doing to his toe. But what Rio Ferdinand did is so embarrassing that it should not even be talked about. In 2001, Rio Ferdinand was already the most expensive defender in the world playing for Leeds. He sustained an injury that made him have to sit at home for a while. He took sitting at home literally. While Newcastle trashed his team, Ferdinand must have been watching. Well, he admitted to watching it on TV. Was reported to have rested his legs on the coffee table for an extended period, which led him to straining his leg. I mean, he sat doing nothing and he still got hurt. TV is more harmful than you think. Well, Ferdinand's negligence is nothing compared to the bizarrely moronic move by Dave Besant. Whatever thought was going through Dave Besant's head at one point went through most people's heads. The news of what he did did not surprise people that Dave is a drop seas. Because this had cost Chelsea a few matches with his relatively poor goalkeeping skills before the incident. While in his kitchen at home, the legendary goalkeeper tried to stop a jar of salad cream from falling with his leg and it shattered on his leg. Oh poor Dave, how could he have not seen that coming? He got to warm the bench after the broken jar left him with a ruptured tendon on his big toe. While Dave Besant had the whole crowd cheering until blood spurted and brought them to a halt, the 19-year-old Sam Henderson became an unaccessful matador on his father's farm. See, in 2008, Sam Henderson was their third choice goalkeeper for the Queen of South, a club in the Scottish Championship, and was on his way to become a part of the first team. So he got lucky to be called up as a backup after their first goalie, Alan Martin, was down with a thigh injury. All Sam had to do was show up for the training. I am sure if luck is a person, he must have told him, not so fast, Sam, the moment he was to become the second choice goalkeeper. A few days before his debut as the main sub, he had an incredible encounter in his father's farm. A rampaging cow took her shot at Sam and successfully ruptured his shoulder. As if the cow was not satisfied, she tried running him over again, which she missed. Sam Henderson was ruled out for six months after the injury. 